Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to create a custom fan page from scratch. You're going to need to download some sample files that I've created to help you along with this article. And you're also going to want to take a look at the resource page that we've created and that's at socialmediadentist.com slash fanpage.php and here's the link. Before you can get started you're going to need to make sure that you've got FBML installed. So in Facebook you can check to make sure that it's installed by simply going clicking on edit page and then scrolling down and you should see FBML listed. If you don't see FBML here, go to the resource page, watch the FBML movie that I've already set up and that'll let you get going. Now the first thing you need to do is create a folder on your desktop. I'd create a folder named fan page or I'm doing one called FB fan page since I already have a fan page folder on my desktop. But it's pretty simple. Just find an empty area on your desktop, right click your mouse, then choose new and then select folder and then just give that folder a name. Okay, you'll want to save all of your files into the folder that you just created. So next we'll need to go online and download the files for the article. The first one is GMTN graphics just like shown here and it's going to be a zip file. It contains all the files for this article. Simply save the file, your fan page folder that you just created. The next one that we need to download is the one that contains all of the images. And that one is fp-images. And that's a dash, not an underscore. Make sure you just save that file as well. Okay, once you've saved both of those files into your folder, to get the content out, you simply right click and do extract all. And this tells you where it's extracting it to. Make sure that it's extracting it to the folder that you just created. If not, you can use browse and browse to that folder. So go ahead and hit extract. And see it extracted those here. Let's go ahead and do the images. Same thing, right click, extract all. Make sure your path is right here. Click Extract and there's the images. And if you open up the images folder, this is the fan page that we're going to be creating right here. And the cool thing is once you learn how to do this, you'll be able to create a fan page of your own with your own logo, your own pictures, and your own video and your own name and information here. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. In order for Facebook to access these images, you need to upload them to your web hosting provider. So whoever hosts your website, you'll need to take these files and have them upload them for you, or you can upload them yourself using an FTP program, such as FileZilla, or you can use PhotoBucket. PhotoBucket is a free online image repository where you can take your images and upload them and then link to them from Facebook. I've shot a, a three minute video on how to use PhotoBucket so you can simply watch that video from the resource section and that'll teach you how to upload your images. I've uploaded the images already so I'm ready to go ahead and begin building my fan page. Okay, building the fan page is going to be really easy. It'll probably take us about 10 minutes. First thing is to go ahead, and if you haven't created your welcome page, let's go ahead and do that now. And it's pretty simple. All you do is create edit, and then we'll do my fan page. 
Now the first thing we're going to want to do is create that big background image that I just showed you of what the site's going to look like. Fan pages are basically nothing but a huge image with some other images pasted on top of it with code added. So let's go ahead and let's open up the folder where we just put all of our files that we downloaded. And go ahead and open up the Green Mountain Graphics folder. And you're going to see all of the code that we're going to be using. Opening up Code 1. And then select Edit, Select All. And that simply selects all of the code on this page. And then select Edit, Copy. Go ahead and close this. And then let's open up our fan page again and simply you can do edit paste and it'll put the code right in there for you or you can hit control V and that'll paste the code in. Go ahead scroll down hit save changes and then go back to your main page and under the tab 